by music my entire life. My passion for music has seen me perform within a band, take part in canvas musicals, and I also study a music. But I've always wanted to know, what is real music? I'm here in Blackpool, home of the Rebellion Festival, Salvation Celebration of Music, Blackpool Rocks and popular cabaret shows. As the music industry is forever growing, more genres are being defined all the time. There is arguably controversy between what someone may define as real music, while someone else may class this as real music. Are they wrong to think that? What is it that defines real music? Is there a way to define real music? To find this out, I'm going to be speaking to upcoming bands, music lovers, industry experts and the locals to see if there is a clear answer. Now, arguably live music is the base of real music. Before technology allowed us to record our music, making it playable for mass audience, this was the only way for someone to enjoy music. I went to watch local upcoming band The People do a live set in the popular UK music store HMV. As part of promo for their new EP, they performed a varied set of both covers and some originals. The atmosphere when watching a band play live is completely the opposite to that when listening to them on the CD. I met up with two members of the band who were kind enough to let me interview them and find out about their thoughts on live music and most importantly, their opinion on what real music is. Like that live sound, it's got more energy to it, but it sounds a bit live, but it sounds good on the track, but it sounds a bit lifeless. Like, it's good, but it needs us playing it live. Yeah. I prefer playing it live because you can uh, add stuff you didn't do in the recording to it. The other problem with that is uh, that you regret not recording it. It sounds a lot better. A lot. The best part of playing it live is um, when people come to watch us and then they get up dancing and, uh, you know, there's been instances where the uh, Sing our songs. Yeah, when they pop away to our, our songs, that's when it. That's actually different. To me, music is anything with a nice rhythm. Anything with anything. Uh, anything you can bop your head to. It's real music. Real music is what we just did, and it comes from in here. Music is my life because when I wake up, I've got a tune stuck in my head. It could be Bon Jovi because it was the other day, and I couldn't get a Bon Jovi song stuck getting out of my head. To me, music means something that gets me feeling something. Uh, it gets me feeling sad, that's music, uh, it makes me happy, uh, it's anything that, anything that defines what music. In 2013, the best-selling music genre, based on the album sales in the UK, was rock music, despite the five best-selling albums being pop. Rock has extreme subgenres, from indie to punk, with bands including the likes of Panic! at the Disco, Blink-182, Fall Out Boy and Queen. Pop music originates from the 1950s and is short for popular music. If rock music is now accountable for the majority of album sales, then technically it's more popular than pop. Therefore, is rock now pop? With technology increasing every day, music is often being computer generated. This means there is sometimes no need to record instruments and everything is altered on a piece of software. My question is, does the altering through a computer take the soul out of it? And furthermore, is it real music? I spoke to a musician from France who puts an interesting twist on orchestral music by the use of his computer. Lemon 42, as he is known, has no need to record the instruments or even know how to play them. With the use of just his computer, he can make music pretty much anywhere. The, the concept of real music, it's kind of strange. I mean, there's no real and fake music. It's all music. Then you, you may like it, you may not like it. I don't think there's real music. I think all music is equal. And then there's things you may like more or dislike more. Computer generated music is very wide. It can be both electronic music, it can be orchestral music, because now, nowadays a lot of uh, uh, orchestral composers, like the ones that compose for movies or big budget projects, use computers because it's actually much simpler than getting an actual orchestra to play it. The computer itself is an instrument, so you can't say people are are getting worse at instruments because the, the computer itself is an instrument. It's very polyvalent, of course, but it it's an instrument. It can be used to make anything. It's another tool. It's it's like a violin, for instance, or a piano. With the, with the computer, I can play the piano. With the piano, I can play the piano. Both achieve the same function. 
But for instance, with a piano, I can't play the violin, but with a computer, I can play the violin. I, I think it's a great thing that these things exist, because it allows us, uh, people who, who can't afford to buy violins or tons of things, uh, it just allows us to have a wide range of instruments at our disposal. The increase in popularity of computer-generated music could be due to the artists such as Daft Punk, Will I Am, Knife Party, Nero and Jason Derulo. Being part of this documentary has changed my opinion on what real music is. After listening to varied viewpoints of the public and the increase of popularity in computer-generated music, I feel that as it brings joy to people, it could actually be real music. While on this journey, I have discovered that there is no clear way to define real music. Though we can be influenced by those around us, each person has his or her own individual opinion on this controversial question. So the question stands, what is real music to you?